prepared a set of the Olin's FP Spec Long Stroke Kit for the ND Miata. Now, this is the version 1 kit and I will be doing a review, like a road test review on how it feels and what dampening uh, numbers I have set on and what spring rates I have. Otherwise, I'm, I've been driving it for like a day now and I already love it. So as far as spring rates go, I do have an 11k front and a 5k rear. I do have helper springs on the front and rear. I personally like stiff suspension and that's what this set is, is more geared towards, you know, like track or like autocross. Uh, the previous owner actually who owned this kit was autocrossing it and uh, it's currently actually valved for a 10 K front and a 5k rear but he decided to go up one from 10 to 11. As far as dampening goes I have 12 front and 10 in the rear and it's it feels phenomenal but I'm gonna do less talking and show you guys more of how the car reacts and stuff like that and uh, you'll probably see me just jumping around in this car because of how stiff it is but let me show you guys how this goes. Absolutely, really just depends on the use of your car. Um, if you even are like just tracking it occasionally or taking it to a canyon run, I, I'd say this is definitely the right suspension you want to get, especially for an Indy Miata that's already geared for track. Now, I'm not really going to talk about like preload or free length of what you should be. I think it really just depends on your setup, like what tire size, what wheel size you have, and all that. But I do have two 15-45-16s Falcon Azenas RT660s. Before, previously, I was running on the Bilstein shocks with the Swift Springs, and I was running a two 15-50-16s, which was fine, like there was nothing wrong with it. It was actually very comfortable yet stiff for daily driving, which that's probably what most people would want to go for anyways. But I figured, again, I couldn't pass on this deal, and I'm doing a direct swap with these suspensions for those. So it, it, in the end, it just worked out. But with a different tire size and with the wheels I have right now, it just, this is where I'm at, is about 325 millimeters in the front, 333 millimeters in the rear as far as free length goes. But it, it works out well. So if you guys ever run the same setup as far as wheels go, it's 16 by eight plus 20 offset. And again, with the FP Spec Olin's long stroke kit. So I'm not really gonna speak much more about this kit. Um, that's pretty much it for this vlog and this review. But I'm in the end, um, I, I absolutely love it. The only downside I would say to this kit is the, like the lead times for it. So Olin's, they currently have a lead time of, I wanna say six to eight weeks or so. It's just, it's insane to wait that long, but it is what it is, especially nowadays. You can't really fight that, but once you do get it in the mail, I, again, I can't emphasize enough, it's so worth it to have this on your car. Otherwise, guys, that's pretty much it. If I miss anything else, I please comment down below and I will try my best to answer your guys' questions and any details you guys might want. But if you guys are interested in purchasing this kit, uh, I will also link a uh, company's website down below of where to purchase this suspension. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are uh, happy with it as much as I am. Otherwise guys, that is pretty much it. I will catch you guys later and we'll keep you guys updated as always. See ya.